All right, some other big breaking news here. According to Reuters and Korea's IT News, Apple and Hyundai are in talks to produce an autonomous electric car. According to the deal, we could see a prototype as early as March and full production would begin in 2024. Now, what's weird is that on Friday, before the deal was announced, Hyundai said that they would have an autonomous car by 2027. So details are very, very spotty. And in a now removed IT news report, it had originally stated that the companies plan to build their cars at Kia Motors factory in Georgia or invest jointly in a new factory in the United States to produce 100,000 vehicles around 2024. The full annual capacity of the proposed plant would be 400,000 vehicles. So that was later removed from IT news is reporting um maybe because it was inaccurate so right now we don't have many details on this partnership yeah it seems like all the news is coming out of korea and that's where kind of all these other news reports are coming from so it's still not for sure any of this but we knew this was coming right i mean apple has been trying to find a way into this ev car market for years the only question in my mind was with which partner now lucid didn't look right to me because of Saudi Arabia backing them. And there's really no track record to Lucid. So then when you start looking around, Hyundai does make a lot of sense. I mean, they recently just bought Boston Dynamics, the robot company, and they have experience with EVs. They have the Kona, the Nero, the Soul EV, and it's a really solid choice. They make a lot of things. They know how to make stuff. Now, here's the really interesting uh, question. Hyundai has a market cap of around $50 billion. Apple is worth $2.2 trillion and, get this, has $193 billion on hand. So they could go out and buy about four Hyundais if they really, really wanted to. Do you think that uh, Apple is going to buy out Hyundai? I don't know. It. You're right that they could afford it. I mean, I know it's like a kid going into a candy store and like, what do I want? But I don't think they really want to own a company that makes like ships and trains like that just doesn't seem like something they're interested in. So I think just partnering is good enough. That does bring up why didn't Apple buy Boston Dynamics? Well, and I guess a lot of people are probably asking, like, why is Apple partnering with anyone at all? They have so much money. They have you know, they have the brand. Um, why not just make your electric car company from scratch? I think it's because manufacturing, you need an infrastructure and either, right, you have to start from scratch. But if you want to come out with the car that quickly, you're going to have to have some factories and stuff pretty much ready to go. And you think 2024 is quickly? Well, quickly for a company that hasn't b built a car before. I suppose so. Um, but here's my big conjecture. I think we might be talking more than just autonomous cars here. I think as we talked about on our in-depth last week, Autonomous humanoid robots is a big thing coming in this decade. And I think that the only thing stopping it have been the same thing stopping autonomous cars, because mm -hmm. basically they're all just robots, which is batteries, computers, and vision. And I think that once you've got those three things, you can make pretty much anything into a robot. And I think that humanoid robots are going to become huge. Especially once Apple can resurrect Steve Jobs, put his brain in an autonomous uh, robot, then all of a sudden they get Steve Jobs back and he's like, hey, we should make robots for everybody. Yeah, he's walking around in uh, black with mom <laughs> jeans and he's uh, pitching it to everybody. I, I agree. I mean, let's be real, though. I think most people would feel a little bit more comfortable with an Apple, you know, robot walking around their house like I'm Apple. Ha ha ha. Look at me. Talk to Siri. Yeah, that, that's what it's called. It's called Siri. So, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to activate it. I'm sorry. That's my that's my bad. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching Now You Know Clips. You can watch full episodes of Tesla Time News on Mondays and in-depths on Fridays. Just click the link down below to head over to the Now You Know channel.